This is part nine of our painting of CX, our uh, flagship for the Putney MVS. Uh, we've been coming in here today to try and make her ready. We found that the sponsons were coming down and so we've removed these valves and just sort of checking that they're all clean at the back. You can see they are pretty new. You wouldn't believe it, but it was about a lump of dirt about that big that was on the edge of the valve going over like that and that air must have just been coming out because every time we put the cap on, she'd hold. So if you're losing a tiny, tiny little bit, just check the back of those valves and you might find a bit of grit is just letting some air out behind it. So it's worth looking. So it was sitting there all right, wasn't it? That was yeah, that was right. very nicely. Oh. Here we go. And you can see, really, all we've got to do is put some white on her down here. Um, we've cleaned up most of the damage that was done by the bad sanding. And so she's got her sort of second coat undercoat on, but she'll tomorrow have her final master coat on. And then maybe next week we'll get on the water and we'll show you what she's like on the water. That'd be great, wouldn't it? So the valves are in and we're now pumping them up. You can see they're going up quite nicely. So now we're doing valve number two that was damaged. Uh, you can see the front of the valve is going up now. I'm hoping that this will stay up now and we found the problem. So we've done that valve, that valve in there somewhere. But it looks like the sponsons are holding nicely already. We're gonna put some washing up liquid on them and see if they do hold and create any bubbles. But overall, I think she's looking pretty good. So today is the day that CX gets probably a final coat, but we've just found out that we've only got half a litre left of the Hyperlong paint. Uh, and that means we might not be able to do the whole thing, but we're certainly going to have a look at uh, sponsons down here and try and get the inside down here done and all the way around there at the very least. And if we have to just touch up and get another little can, then we will. But Oscar's joined us today for his first time down here. Hello. He's going to do the painting with me, cutting it all in. He's the master craftsman with the brush. <laughs> um, so he's going to be here today. And we're going to try and get it done, but you know what, I'm not gonna go mad on it. We need to get her on the water. She is gonna be a training vessel. She is gonna be battered around. She's gonna be knocked into walls and probably crashed a few times. So it's probably best that we don't do a Ferrari job on her. You've heard of Miami Vice. Well, that's London Vice. Look, dead silence from the crew. That's what you get telling jokes around here. It is tricky, right? Because we get this thing called candy flossing off these rollers, right? And what happens is when they get too sticky, it's like threads come off it and you know it's too late. And so if you look here, you can see here, there, there's like little bits of the roller coming off, which is okay. We can just sand it off when it's dry. But we've come up with this new technique, which is kind of avoiding that. If you start at the top, what they do with this roller, what you do is you push a bit of the liquid on. It then pushes the liquid down and brings it in then, and taking that off. And we're gonna cut that blue in there later anyway. Let's just see that one more time. Yep. There's actually quite a good way of doing it. So look, he's kind of getting the, the paint on and then bringing it in and it stops it from dripping down below. Now, yeah, and then you just bring out all the strokes and look at that, you get a much, much, much nicer, consistent finish. We're kind of middle of the afternoon now. Oscar's done some really nice stuff on the sides here. Look Cutting that. his way in, look at that. <laughs> Completely different, look. You can see where it was and where it's gonna be. We still think another coat probably, but he's getting a really nice finish on it and I'm really impressed, which is why he's here to be honest. The paint is definitely strong. You can see that little hole there. Is actually, I put a jet wash on it so hard that it took the paint off, but it also took the Hyperlon actually from underneath it as well. So that's how tough it is. Billy and I are just going to do the oil on this engine. We fired her up, you didn't hear that. So we're going to be putting some more two-stroke in it. We've tested the tilt works and it looks like our steaming lights work. But look at the difference. That application that he's doing is giving that, you have to layer it on, layer by layer. It's so thin, that paint, isn't it? Yeah, you've got to, you've got to give it layer, 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 and then you just keep going. Little bits, and then once you've done the final coat, they're all the way up, and they're all the way down. That's pretty much what they say on the tin. Yeah, that's right. So you've got to paint this in, it's like you've got to do layers and layers, because it's all about the waterproofing yeah. and the um, wear and tear of it. Right, so we're coming towards the end of the day. Um, we're about to run out of paint, I think. Oscar's used it all up. If you think what that looked like earlier on, it's starting to get a nice sheen on it. Certainly the dirt's going. Um, it's lost a lot of that damage down the side. It still does need a little top up coat in my opinion. Um, I think Oscar feels the same way. What do you reckon? Yeah, man. Uh, 
you look at it, probably another coat on there. You look at it, probably, probably a litre left. A litre more probably will do it. But yeah, it's getting there. It's just literally, this will be the final coat. It's just because just to take all the blemishes out and stuff like that and make it look crisp. So that's the words for the master. It looks like we do need to get some fenders down the side. Uh, the paint probably will come off as he says. We've got a couple of layers, maybe two or three layers. There's a white layer on this blue and two layers of blue. And uh, now there's a second layer of white. All that patching is gone. And I reckon with one more paint, that, that other patching will go. All right, so that's uh, part nine, which I thought we would be finishing today. Now, looking at her, she is very close to being finished. I'm super, super happy with that effect that has come from Oscar painting it in that certain way. It's really made a difference on the overall look of it, of how smart it looks, how clean it looks. We're gonna come back for one more day and we're gonna do one more coat of white. We're gonna to touch all the little blue bits which we made a mistake on. But if you look at that white, it's pretty impressive. What do you reckon, Billy? I think it's pretty good. Oscar? Yeah, man. Happy with that? I'm getting increasingly happy with it. That does look nice.